Hey, I'm going to show you how you turn these two sections with parallax images from this into this. What do you think? Hey, can you see how we get this split blended effect with a section? We're not using shape dividers because with shape dividers, you always get a bit of like, you, you get this empty gap appearing, um, which doesn't work really well. But here we get a completely blended intersecting section. It's really easy to do this. Now to do it, I'm going to, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo bits of this, but I do want to show you the tool we're going to use of choice. It is this choice, uh, this to choice, this tool, BennettFreely.com, okay? Uh, it is a free website. The link will be in the description. You just go over and you normally start with a triangle, but you can go with any pattern you want. I actually went for the Pentagon one over here. And what I did for the top um, section was I made a pattern like this. Let me just show you what I did. I just moved this along like that. And I basically made this kind of intersection like that. Okay. The great thing is, can you see down here, you get the CSS code. So this bit here, this pattern here is what you're currently seeing at the top. The first thing we're going to do is give our section a class name. I'm going to call it section clip one. It's actually already there because I was using it before. And then I'm going to go to custom CSS. And what you got to do is put section clip one with the dot at the beginning. You then got to do open parentheses or the curly bracket, then paste in the code that you got from down here, right? You paste in that code. And then it's a good rule to just close the parentheses off with the curly bracket as well. That has now given us our intersecting section almost in a way. It's kind of made a clip path. You could, if you want, just start to add in other colors and stuff like that. But we are now going to intersect with section number two. So the logic again is the same. Let's go to advanced. Let's call that section clip two like that. Go down to custom CSS. And again, we're going to do section clip two, open parentheses. And this time now we're going to go back over here. So I'm going to start with the Pentagon because that was the original where I got the idea in the first place. And I'm just going to move this over until it's about 75. Then at, go back over to your website and drop the code in here. You now get a white gap. And that's because section one ends here and section two basically begins there. But we now need to merge them together. Now, if you go over to section two, go to advanced and your top margin. If you start to add in a negative number and I'm going to put 294 in just to show you how with a negative number, you're pushing it up. And what you will then do is, is just get it. I mean, you can overlap it a bit if you want, because section two is always going to be over section one if you want to play safe or just get it spot on, something like that. And what you'll then get is this intersecting pattern, which can be quite funky with something really simple, no extra plugin. I mean, the code is ridiculous, right? It's just a tiny bit of code you got to add in after you do a class name. But how does this look on the mobile? Right, okay, you got to admit, though, there may be a bit of tinkering required here. So let's just go in. And you can now clearly see that this is not going to work really, really well. And this is where you want to then do something like this. I'm just going to pick up an example over here. If you go over to, say, uh, section two, uh, and I just paste in this extra bit of code, you might need to do something like this where you have uh, a clip path for your desktop and your mobile and whatever. And then you might have another clip path. I mean, this one hasn't been set properly. I've just bunged in values in here just to get the point across. This one is medias at media screen and max width. Da, 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 da. OK, so up to a screen size of 480 or maybe you want to go with, say, I don't know, 520, maybe any screens from zero to 520 pixels in width, they will now have a different clip path applied. But that won't matter for your desktop because your desktop, if as long as it's bigger than 520, you'll then get back to this pattern over here. Um, I think this is super, super good and allows you to create more bespoke, unique looking websites. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'm Imran, I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. No shame, there's no time Feel the pain, let the grind I could change in my mind Pick a lane, commit and climb The only way to win it life I never miss that fact Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag